special news segment. Special, special, special news segment. Special. Good evening, I'm Poppy Harlow, here for your special news segment. Any YouTuber mentioned in this video is just for context. <laughs> I am not dragging these people. It's just for context. Full disclaimer, guys. Just context. No, for real, it, it is just context. <laughs> I think if this story goes mainstream, which it very likely will, it will have a negative impact on YouTubers. What am I talking about? Well, of course, BetterHelp. You've already heard about it from your favorite YouTuber. BetterHelp. 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 You BetterHelp. 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 Help. Better help. Better help. Better help. Better help. Better help. There is a list of over a hundred YouTubers who have promoted this website. It's been all over Reddit. My own subreddit. I always see these ads. Try online therapy. Try online therapy and you too can grow a magnificent beard just like this guy. Well, what is better help? Well, it's been marketed as cheap, affordable and private online therapy with a professional. That's right. Hooray, professional. I discussed BetterHelp in a previous video where I first heard about it and I was cautious about calling it a scam because I've n seen not just YouTubers, but actual therapists shilling this service. Totally, really believe it. You're a sociopath. By the way, this video is sponsored by online therapy. <laughs> so what's wrong with BetterHelp then? You can have online therapy without leaving your house. You can have therapy at home. That's great. That sounds almost too good to be true. Well, yes, yes, because it is. With BetterHelp, they have attempted to mass produce therapy. They uh, pride on having 4 million users and they've gathered this many users by saying this. If you sign up for BetterHelp, you'll pay only $65. Whereas if you go to an actual therapist and meet face to face, you'll be paying $250. So look how much money you are saving by using BetterHelp instead of face to face therapy. However, in their own terms of service, they acknowledge that if you are using this site, it is not a complete substitute for face to face examination and for a session by a licensed qualified professional. So it's marketed as a cheaper substitute for therapy, when in reality, it's a luxury. It's an addition to therapy. Look how much money you are saving by not going to therapy. Also, by the way, you need to go to therapy. <laughs> when you subscribe to BetterHelp, let's say you pick the most popular one, $65 per week, but you are billed monthly. So when the seven day trial runs out, you're immediately billed $260. So let's say you sign up for BetterHelp for a seven day free trial. As soon as that trial ends, you are charged immediately with the full price of a month, $260. And even if you immediately cancel, you are still charged the full amount for a month that you will not use. And there's a lot of reviews that reinforce this. BetterHelp says, how long will I use this service? Just as long as you need it. You can cancel the subscription of the service at any time. We'll just charge you for the full month anyway. Now I've seen comments saying that if you contact them, they will pay you back. So if you lost money signing up for this, please do reach out. BetterHelp also says that we'll find you an online therapist. We'll. Uh, you just do this quick questionnaire and we'll find the right person for you. But in their terms of service, they also say, we cannot assess whether the use of the counselor is right and suitable for your needs. So what do they do? They don't take accountability for anything. You can find a therapist that does phone calls or texting by yourself. BetterHelp says themselves that they give no warranty for their willingness to give advice. They make no warranty whether what they say is even relevant, useful, correct, relevant again, relevant. satisfactory, or suitable to your needs. So they don't take responsibility for anything. How convenient. On review sites, it says that BetterHelp is 69% positive and 21% negative. So if someone says BetterHelp really worked for me, that's because they had a good therapist. Not because BetterHelp provide a good service, because they don't take accountability for any of their counselors. Which then leads to a lot of people having bad experiences. They say themselves that they don't diagnose, the platform is not intended for diagnosis. But then you have really questionable videos of YouTubers saying, I suffer with binge eating, which I do want to talk to you guys about because I was officially diagnosed with binge eating disorder by my therapist. Mm -hmm. I was officially diagnosed by their therapist. Okay, who who diagnosed you? If you guys have ever heard of betterhelp.com, 
Oh, really? So you were officially diagnosed by a therapist. Therapists should not diagnose you, by the way. And better help themselves say that, but still, apparently, it happens. I never actually received any therapy. We just kept setting appointments and he just kept missing them and not giving me any warning or any real reason and was really unprofessional in his messages. So I'm seeing better help everywhere and I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> Obviously, if you meet a therapist face to face, you can still have bad experiences. But if better help themselves doesn't take any accountability of finding you the right therapist or any accountability for the actions of their therapist, then what's the point? What do they do besides charging you? It just came to my attention that I missed a portion of the terms of service. This one is deeply concerning. And guess why I missed it? They deleted it just a few days ago. How convenient. This one says that they don't guarantee the verification of the skills, degrees, qualifications, certification, credentials, competence, or background of any counselor. With better help, you'll be talking to professionals. Just beware that it's your responsibility to determine whether they are or not. It's your responsibility to determine whether they have any degree or qualification or certification or all these things. What does BetterHelp do besides selling you a product that doesn't exist, that they don't sell? A lot of reviews have spoken about this, saying that their counselors was really questionable with all kinds of crazy stories. And considering how little the actual therapist using BetterHelp gets paid, it's obvious that you're not gonna get the best service. People are even saying that they most likely just talk to another person. Their therapist just changed throughout the year and they, they don't even know who they were talking to anymore. Now, I can't vouch that these reviews are legit. Obviously, they're anonymous reviews, but I can, if you want to do that argument, neither of the good reviews are legit either. If you go to BetterHelp's own website, their testimonies, they are filled with testimonies. Most of them starting off with text saying Joel was excellent, referring to their therapist. Alex has been so helpful. She is very understanding, referring to their therapist. Jerry is empathetic. Well, you scroll down and you find this guy. Julian says that betterhelp.com is a reliable online platform to receive therapy. It can be easier and safer to communicate with a licensed psychologist from home than at an office. A therapist of theirs, Lauren McCoy, is attentive and does ask the right questions. You needn't stay alone. Jesus, you needn't stay alone. And notice how he says, Julian says. Julian says that better help don't- Who's Julian? His therapist is Lauren. Is he Julian? Is he referring to himself? Is he reading the script so badly? <laughs> what is this side? What is going on here? The cherry on the top here is that in their terms of service, they can share your data. And uh, anything talking about mental health related, that's, that's really not a problem if that's public information, right? I mean, the whole idea of having online therapy with an online footprint, it's just a bad idea in general. Why is my accent so wrong? Now, this is some of the reason that I found out that BetterHelp is not what they are saying it is. There's a lot of more information and a lot of more crazy things that I, I don't want to bring up, but there's a lot of suspicious activity to say the least. For me, where this whole thing gets the most messed up is the marketing. When I first heard about BetterHelp, I was immediately skeptical because I've been approached by a similar app a year ago and a very few selected people told me, uh, Felix, this app is not what they are saying it is. Luckily, the app didn't cost any money and luckily I didn't take the money for the promo. For some reason, I recognized that it was a bad idea taking money for a mental health issue. And how so many YouTubers fail to recognize this is just beyond me. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. There's over a hundred YouTubers who have promoted better health, but the most concerning thing about this is not that they're getting paid to promote it. I think that's fine, but they are paid per person that signs up to better health. And not just a little money either. It's been confirmed that YouTubers have been paid $200 per person that they get to sign up for better help. $200, that's a lot of money. Just get a thousand people signing up, you just made $200,000. So obviously you're highly incentivized 
to tell people to sign up for this service. In my video, when I memed BetterHelp, I was just joking. By the way, guys, everyone is a sociopath. Enter the code SHANE for your cheaper online therapy today. I would never have guessed it was actually this was the case. So this leads to a lot of the sponsored videos of these hundred, hundred of YouTubers being about mental health, which could actually be a good thing, but they are made so that people sign up for the website. I'm De Scott, it's Scott from Depression to Expression. If you're looking for anything to miss out on, don't miss out on this. Welcome to Express- Whoa, I actually messed up there. <laughs> <coughs> and completely serious. Before we start, I have so much respect for each and every one of you for watching and being- Why do you ask for my PIM and information now, okay? As we know, I've been in therapy. I've been just dealing with a lot of stuff that I need to deal with, and now I feel good. Anyways, I feel good. That's- what is that probably about? So you can access professional, affordable, and convenient counseling. I just hit a wall where it was it was gotten so bad that it was basically either stop making videos or disappear. Also, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. More information about that at the end of this video. I believe having a healthy mind to be a top priority, at least for myself. A healthy mind leads to a healthy life. And but before you guys go, I just want to share with you BetterHelp. It may seem like you are unable to gain a clear perspective. You no longer need to feel the suffering. Counselors at BetterHelp are on your side. Probably pulling 70, 80, 90 hour work weeks with travel in between. Of course she got burned out. And I'm so unfucking out! In light of this video, I'm working with BetterHelp to help provide another resource for you guys. To be fair, I don't think these YouTubers know what they're promoting. And on the paper, it sounds like a great thing. If you can help people and get paid at the same time, what's the what's wrong with that? I don't think everyone is completely innocent, but I don't think there's any point in faulting anyone too much either. Recently, there's been a big topic on YouTube about mental health. 10 YouTubers fighting mental health stigma. YouTube is failing its creators and why YouTubers are feeling burnt out. I talked about this topic because I don't want people chasing phantom dragons. I don't want people to think that they win by acquiring wealth and fame. This is such a common misconception that somehow if you get rich and famous, all your problems are solved. When in reality, these are just cravings that everyone has that will never leave you satisfied. You will never feel happy and content. If a service like BetterHelp existed, they should take accountability for their counselor's actions. It should be in their best interest to make sure that anyone that signs up gets a good service. But in their terms of service, they say that they don't. And this is obviously because they're mass producing it. And they definitely should not market themselves as a substitute for therapy and then at the same time say that they aren't one and hidden in their terms of service. And YouTubers should not take a deal that gives them money per sign up if it's for mental health. Or at the very least then disclaim that. I was slammed by mainstream media a few months ago for uh, guess the controversy, guess the big thing that I did. Well. I shared Amazon referral links in my descriptions, which I've never even mentioned. That's right, everybody. I linked to my equipment and I got a 10%. I know, I'm a little scumbag. So what does this whole better help thing fit in? Where, where does that go? I mean, you can't just treat your fans like dollar signs. What kind of person would do that? It's disgusting and I don't understand why anyone would do that. My fans, I treat with respect and I would never sell them anything, ever. Check out the bars guys, link in the description, please, the campaign is only 9 days left. <laughs>